what is up guys welcome back to the channel it is absolutely beautiful out here this morning don't have a lot of time to film so hopefully we can get a quick video in we're setting up on a nice channel edge this morning we got some scattered bait we got some scattered fish still water temperatures are still pretty high we're at the tail end of summer these fish are still schooling up during the day when it gets really hot i would anticipate them to do the same thing today Easy cast out there. I'm only shooting my side imaging out about 80 feet. We saw quite a few targets in here, so I don't really see the need to really broadcast these rods out too far. I think we're going to have plenty of opportunities right here. Probably one of my favorite features that this comes standard in this boat makes makes cleanup super easy I don't have to worry about it all at the end of the day or let it accumulate I can just kind of keep it tidy as the day goes along I'm gonna tell you I thought it was gonna be a little bit cooler than it was this morning so I threw on a hoodie Man, I'm gonna tell you, she's already getting rather toasty out here. Whew. I need a haircut, don't judge me. I think this little rascal's in this other line. He's walked it all the way from that channel edge down to here. He's on there. I'm gonna go ahead and try him. He's definitely on there. I think he's very big. He does feel kind of heavy though. Of course that could be the uh, 10 pounds of grass that's probably on the line with him. Not really sure. It's been a total weird year guys. I'm not really sure why everything has kind of been the way it has. But we're fishing very similar right now to how we will fish over the next couple of months, early fall. We're also seeing a lot of things that we typically see that time of the year, other than the fact that the water temperature is still relatively high. For instance, the grass is releasing out of the creeks, flowing into the main river, and uh, that usually doesn't happen until the water temperature starts to decline a little bit. So, not really sure what that's about. But I do know that it's been rather difficult to fish the last couple weeks. Not bad fish, he's probably 20 pounds. He might actually go over 20. start to the day right there this fish is probably probably right about 30 pounds really kind of 
underestimated a little bit. He gone. Looked kind of rough too. Not sure what that was about. Uh, I want a nice bad either, bro. Mm. Uh huh. I just had one peel drag and then pop back up. Hey, I wouldn't move it. <laughs> Dang. I wonder if that thing might be loose. I mean, it's a lot of money. Any any hobby, that's the thing. Any hobby, you're gonna uh, dang, go in there. Goes a fish right there. I don't think he's uh, I don't think he's uh, super size, but it's a nice little fish. stay down here and catch them I mean that's what I'd like to do I mean it'd be nice oh crap I got another one going down oh he's taking drag he's taking drag he freaking got off man I'm gonna have to check that rig I don't know if I got something going on with my hook or what but that's the second fish I've missed Taking line. more time I'd fool him and he'd be going in the fryer later but he's gonna live today. He's gonna live today. He's gonna live today. Your windshield can't be past six inches of the edge of the windshield. I got one fall. taking drag. I got one taking drag. Ah he came off man. Dang going it man. That was the same one that got hit a minute ago. Don't say nothing crazy. I got you on video. That's the second fish that I've missed on this rig right here. So I'm going to do some inspecting. I'm going to take a look at everything. Both of those fish took line. I'm not going to say they were giants, but typically we don't move. Typically we don't miss a whole lot of fish. I know he slimed up that leader real good. That might have been a pretty good fish. Well guys, after closer examination, unfortunately that's all the time I got. Like I said, I only really had like an hour, hour and a half to come out here and shoot a quick video. Unfortunately, two of our better fish, or at least I feel like our better fish, I mean, they took a little bit of drag. That means they had to be a little bit aggressive. Doesn't necessarily mean they were supersized, but they were definitely aggressive definitely committed to the bait. It's something I didn't notice when I threw it out this morning just because I was in a rush, is this tip is actually kind of rolled and the hook gap is a little bit, a little bit too far bent out for my, my liking personally. Um, I don't know, you know, it happened once, that kind of stuff happens, but when it happens twice, typically in my opinion, there's something else at play in this case, I'm gonna say that that hook just needs a little bit of attention. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna retie it. Hopefully it won't happen anymore today. So always make sure you keep an eye on that stuff, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up. I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one.